What's going on YouTube? Gary here, GZ Duels, here to bring you guys a duel between my Evil Swarms and my opponent who's playing some Heraldic Beasts. Not a very good matchup for Evil Swarms because they don't have really high level monsters. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I opened up pretty badly. So I'm just going to use a Reinforcement Army, get Caster because it's dark, and hopefully uh, recycle my hand a little bit with Allure of Darkness. Uh, and uh, didn't draw into anything good, great. So I'm just going to banish the Heliotrope and uh, set four. <laughs> Uh, if I had something like, um, if I drew into two uh, Evil Swarm monsters, uh, this would have been perfect because I would have set four and I would use Caster and go for first turn Ophion. Unfortunately, it's not what that happens. So he flips uh, Leo, and uh, when it's flip summoned, it doesn't go to the graveyard at the end phase. So I decided, you know, I'm just going to bottomless that so that Leo doesn't hit the graveyard at all, and uh, I wouldn't have to worry about him searching. So I think that was an okay choice and then he used Goblin Dimberg and I was like oh no he's <laughs> he's gonna go for uh, an exceed summon anyways <clears throat> and he summons Eagle I think that's what it's called or Eel <laughs> and uh, instead of going for an exceed um, he just chose to attack I was like okay that's fine too uh, I did have Solemn Warning for him but I don't mind taking the a thousand damage and he didn't go for an exceed at uh, May Phase 2 either not even like a mace stroke. Um, so I was like, okay, cool. I draw into tour guide, so <laughs> I'm just gonna try to get rid of both of your level four monsters. I think he was hoping that I don't have any monsters and then uh, next turn go for a shock master or something. And uh, he tried to use solemn warning. I'm just going to say no to solemn warning with solemn judgment. Um, the reason why I did that because I had uh, MST and uh, I could activate tour guide's effect and then chain MST to tour guide's effect so that if it was like a torrential, uh, something like that, I could still prevent it, and it was a bottomless, so I can special summon the tour guide without fear. And I'm going to use tour guide and tour guide to go into Levier, and I'll use Levier in order to get back the Heliotrope, so that I have a uh, one nine fifty and a one eight monster on the field. I would be able to get rid of both of his um, monsters, <clears throat> so that he can't go for an exceed next turn. You know, pretty good, I guess. <laughs> It's pretty desperate that I did this. It's not a very standard move for <laughs> Evil Swarms. Usually you would want to save the tour guide in order to get uh, Levier for uh, Rabbit, but didn't draw into Rabbit, so it happens. <laughs> Rabbit's at two. So yeah, I just got rid of all of his monsters. Main phase two, I'm just going to set the Forbidden Dress and, and my turn off to my opponent. <clears throat> so my opponent does something that I kind of dread because uh, he sets two back row. And I was like, oh man, I really wanted to go for Ophion with the caster. Uh, but I drew into Thunderbird, which is okay. I guess um, I was going to summon the Thunderbird so that in case he does have a Torrential Tribute, my Thunderbird would escape unharmed. Uh, he does have some sort of response, but it's not the conventional response of, you know, the uh, Torrential Tribute or um, not Torrential Tribute nor uh, bottomless, it's Fiendish Chain. And he can't Fiendish Chain my Thunderbird because my Thunderbird would fly away. He can't Fiendish Chain my Heliotrope because it's a normal monster. The only thing he can uh, Fiendish Chain is uh, Levier. So I was like, why would you even do that? <clears throat> so I decided to go for Ovion, just in case, you know, his back row is like uh, Deep Prison or something, I can go for the Infestation. But unfortunately, it was the uh, Fiendish Chain. So I kind of regret going into Ovion first. I should have just gone for an attack. But, you know, things like this happen, so I can't go for that. And I even uh, burned a Forbidden Dress, because I thought Forbidden Dress would stop the Fiendish Chain from targeting. In fact, however, it was too uh, too um, too late, because uh, Forbidden Dress, you know, the Fiendish Chain already targeted. So that was a new, new play for me, I'm sorry. And he normally summons Aber Conway, and um, I was like, why would you do that? Do you want to, like, commit suicide? And then he used... Heraldry Reborn, and I realize how broken Heraldic Beast can be during the mid game into the late game when uh, everything in the graveyard is there, and uh, whatever they top deck, you know, Heraldry Reborn, uh, the other thing that summons two Heraldic Beasts and go for an exceed, and uh, basically his deck has like seven monster reborns <laughs> for Heraldic Beast, so it's just not fair. And he goes for an exceed, and I solemn. And I drew into <laughs> Huge Revolution is over, which is kind of sad for me, but that's fine. And my opponent's turn, I uh, see he decides to play the card that I was talking about, actually. 
the one of the seven monster <laughs> reborns in his deck. Except this monster reborn is um, pretty broken because it allows him to instantly go for an exceed. And of course, everyone knows what I'm talking about. If you know Heraldic Beast, is that card exactly? And uh, he allow it allows him to target two Heraldic Beast monsters in his graveyard, special summon them, and go for an exceed right away. And I have a huge revolution is over, so I can't do anything about it. And he decides to go for Gaga -ga Cowboy, which is pretty smart because since my monsters are locked down. Uh, Gaga Cowboy would be able to burn me to death in two turns. So I'm really in panic mode until I drew <laughs> into Heavy Storm. And I was like, yes, awesome. <laughs> now I win. <laughs> Since he did, he had those amazing top decks with his uh, Heraldry Reborn and stuff, I'm going to have some amazing top decks too. So yeah, I'm going to go for Ophion's Effect in order to search for the Infestation. And I'm going to Normal Summon Caster and attack for game. So tell me what you guys think about Evil Swarms without uh, Cerceon. Do you think it's still viable? Do you think it's going to be good in the next format? I found out through my testing that, you know, it's kind of bad against um, rogue matchups, not like Mermail and not uh, Elemental Dragons and not Prophecy. It actually does pretty poorly. So tell me what you guys think about this. And this is Gary Cheesy Duels signing out.